All right, what are we working with? Well, first let's report what I've done so I can get paid. I did really good at the theme park, apparently. Oh, that was the only thing I could report. We got some money. That's good enough. Okay, so we have driven to the brink. Oh, from Ray. Recently, a reckless vehicle has been frequently frequenting West Crossbell Highway. What? I need a drink. Hold on. I cannot speak right now. That's the bad part about playing a game that's voiced only in Japanese. It means I have to talk more. And then I need to drink more. Recently, a reckless vehicle has been frequenting West Crossbell Highway. It's been causing trouble for buses and Imperial tourists. We need help dealing with this issue in a timely manner and ask for your cooperation. Is this gonna be Yuri and them again? Meet me in the Belgard Gate parking lot for additional details. Okay. Geofront D sector monster extermination. A dangerous monster, Golden Cricket, has been sighted in the Geofront's D sector. They're really bringing back all of the monster exterminations. I think this was what we did when it was just Lloyd, Ellie, and um, Kia. And I let Kia die. I mean, what? Kia didn't die. We ask that the special support section deal with this threat swiftly. The entrance to the D sector located in the southern end of the downtown district is now open. The entrance to the D sector located in the southern end of the downtown district is now open. Interesting. A taste of crossbell. Crossbell News Service is planning to publish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we need to finish that. Okay. Okay. Hi. The second division and CGF are looking into how Wald Wales managed to get his grubby paws on Gnosis. Reopening the Transcontinental Railroad takes some of the pressure off, luckily. As for those stray bracers, feel free to stop by and poke around at the guild if your work starts winding down. Okay, so don't go to the guild until I'm ready to progress. I made sure to buy a whole bunch of ingredients yesterday, and now I don't have to go shopping in the rain. Smart move, Kia. We can use those extra ingredients for today's hot pot, so be a good girl and watch over the place for us until then. You got it, Lloyd. Come home safe, okay? I'll get the hot pot started while you're working. Come back safe, okay? Will do, dog. It sounds like Cop and Zite are both excited for hot pot tonight. Huh? But I thought cats couldn't handle hot food. The same goes for canines. As far as I'm aware, wouldn't they end up burning their tongues. Not to worry. It's nothing that a low energy icicle edge wouldn't fix. Oh, so I can't um, give the cat food. He is holding down the fort today, so we don't need to feed him. Darn. Darn. Okay. Um... Do I want to give Randy the attack quartz or Lloyd the attack quartz? You're at 895 and you're at 856. Okay, Randy could definitely use the attack quartz. So let's go handle that. to open a slot for Randy. Um, it's this one. Thank you. Q. 
here, Iago. That's fine. Uh, and I don't think I have any other quartz that I wanted to switch in. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, first things first, I think I want to go to St. Ursula. Get that out of the way. And then report the food thing. Before I accidentally forget. There you are. Glad you kids didn't forget about me. Does that mean it's done? You betcha. We recommend my recommended dish is all set to go. I call it three day stew. Ready to give it a try? We would love to. All right. Give me just a moment. I'll fetch a serving for each of you. Lloyd and the team ate the three day stew. It's delicious. Ah, now this is what I'm talking about. Thick, hearty, and packed with flavor. It was certainly worth the wait. Absolutely right. I don't think I've ever had a stew this rich and appetizing before. It's full of nutritious ingredients and warms you to your core. The perfect combination for a healthy body. I'm sure it does wonders for the patients here at St. Ursula. Sounds like someone found her dish. Aw, oh, come on now, you're exaggerating. Ellie seems to be the one most taken with the dish. Perhaps she should be the one to write about it. That's a good call. Think you can handle it, Ellie? With pleasure. I'll try my best to do the three-day stew justice. Found every SSS member's favorite dish. Great, all six of us have decided on a favorite dish. We have plenty of opinions to go around now, so let's give our report to the CNS. Okay, fantastic. I appreciate that it lets you know that you have in fact finished the quest. Or finished that part of the quest. We can finally take a breather. Good job today, Mashad. You were really holding your own helping out in there. Thanks, but I have a lot to learn if I'm going to be a full-fledged doctor. And besides, I don't think I did anything special. I was really just pitching in here and there with the busy work. No need to be so modest. Even odds and ends like those are essential to keeping a hospital up and running. You don't even get the least bit faint at the sight of blood anymore. You're growing up quick, Michaud. Good for him. Okay, let's see if Seal is in. She's not. Sroan is not out here, which makes sense. They really left the sheets out in the rain? That's a choice. I heard a lot of ambulances come into the hospital yesterday, Cecile. Someone said something about a big accident. What happened? Well, there was a train derailment along the West Crossbell Highway. But don't worry, everyone survived and the doctors have taken good care of all the people who were injured. Really? Thank goodness. I was so scared for them. It reminded me of the accident I was in. Shizuku. Thankfully, the doctors have taken good care of all the passengers who were injured, so don't worry about a thing, Shizuku. You just concentrate on getting better, okay? Okay, I will. Alright, that's all they can say. Interesting. We probably don't have much to do in the hospital today. Sarone, why in Idios' name did you hang the sheets out on the roof to dry? Chief Clark specifically told us today's forecast called for rain. Yeah, but what does he know? I decided to take a gamble. Let it ride on sunshine, you know? What were you thinking? 
The way the sky looked yesterday, I thought for sure it wasn't going to rain today. That's why you're a nurse and not a meteorologist, Sarone. Great, now all those sheets I washed are going to have to be washed again. Actually, wait, they're getting drenched as we speak. I need to hurry and take them down. Good luck with that, Mayfa. You needn't worry, the fracture in your leg has already been treated. This is hardly a mortal wound, so please try and calm yourself. Okay. Hi. Looks like things are finally starting to calm down after yesterday's train derailment. Talk about a rush. Uh-oh. Things got so busy that I forgot to feed myself. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Is that it? Should probably go have lunch soon. You do you. Dyson, what are you doing in here? Well, I suppose it's about time I get to cleaning the nurse's station again. You'd think I'd be used to doing it after working here for so long, but it still makes me antsy. It's the ladies' turf, you know? Interesting. Where is Martha? Oh, here's Martha. I come all this way to Crossbell City to attend Archon Seal's new show, and what happens? The train flips right off the tracks. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? Time to think of it. Their revival production does open up tomorrow, doesn't it? Well, it's like they say, where there's life, there's hope. The goddess kept you safe. That's something to be grateful for. Better to live to see another Archon Seal show than die before you ever get the chance. The goddess gave you a blessing here. The best way to show your appreciation is to focus on your recovery. Okay. If you could please get in contact with the patient's family in Calvard, I'll go and deliver their medical records to Dr. Saland. I've been swamped ever since the derailment yesterday. Chances are I won't have any free time for a while. The other nurses and I have a job to do. Okay. Sayland? I'll be leaving to do my rounds soon, Lytton. Don't relax just because we're done in the operating room. This accident has left us with a great number of patients to see to. Yes, Dr. Sayland. Anything else? A great number of patients were brought in yesterday. I haven't stopped working since, so I'm just about at my limit. I should probably take a short nap in my room before my next shift starts. Okay. Our surgical tools really got a workout yesterday, let me tell you. Thankfully, I've been making sure that Schler stays on top of their maintenance. Okay. I just got out of the operating room not too long ago. I've been performing one surgery after another all throughout the night. Once I'm done with the checkups I have scheduled for today, I can go home and sleep like a log. Okay, I think that's all we're getting out of the hospital. Probably. For so long, I've been wary of using a scalpel on the human body. But as times change and healthcare advances, it becomes clear internal medicine can't solve everything. Like the aftermath of this derailment. Working here has taught me to be more open-minded about new forms of medical treatment. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this in. There's no one over here that I care about, is there? Nope. Yes. Take me home. All right. Harbor District. Who was that guy? Nikolai? Oh, okay. Why are you all doing this in the rain? You're gonna 
Give yourselves a fever. Hi. Have stuff. Hello again, SSS. I take it you've finished sampling six different places for the gourmet guide. Would you like to report to Grace now? Yup. Understood. I'll let Grace know you're here. You're welcome to wait for her on the second floor. Hey there, my new guest editors. So, how'd your little culinary tour go? We enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, once you get past the fact that we had to march all over the dang state, I'm pooped. Hey, it was worth it to eat all that delicious food, am I right? Okay, stop holding out on me. Tell me what you got. Right. Well, then the team gave their reports on the establishments they visited. So you guys checked out 11 places in total, huh? Now that's what I call thorough. Makes me wish I could take you on as assistants. Okay, now, let's move on to your individual recommendations. Well, to start, I really enjoyed the chef's special omelet rice from the Ash Tree Inn at Amorica Village. The simple rustic flavor was all our Morica on a plate. It definitely struck a chord with me. Nice pick, Lloyd. You can't go to our Morica and not try the omelet rice. My favorite was the three-day stew from the from Le Lectier at St. Ursula Hospital. It's simmered for three days straight, which makes it nice and hearty, not to mention good for your health. I totally agree. That stew will get the pep back in your step in one spoonful flat. I recommend the septicolored sherbet from the ice cream stand in the entertainment district. Its check texture is excellent, and the seven flavors, they blend together in a masterful way that defies conventional frozen treat methodology. That's some high praise, Tio. If you thought it was that good, that's really saying something. I bet our readers would love it. I know it gets my nod. The heavenly noodles at Ozell's stand just outside. It's the perfect combo of firm, springy noodles and hot, spicy broth. Just thinking about them is making me drool all over again. Good choice. I stop by there for lunch all the time. The owner is so dedicated to his craft. My favorite is the peerless fried rice from Long Lao on East Street. Once I tasted its simple yet complex flavor, I couldn't get enough. That's Zhang Hui's specialty. Darn. Now I feel like stopping by to grab a plate myself. My recommendation goes to the Tide of Plenty Hot Pot from Tangram Gate's Mess Hall. It's a delectable meal, made even better when shared with a table of good friends. What more could you possibly want? Hey, you're a regular connoisseur, Wheezy. The mess halls at the border gates are some of Crossbell's hidden gems. I think that's a wrap. Great work, gang. All of you managed to find a favorite dish to recommend. The guide is going to have a lot more meat to it with your special feature in there. Thanks a bunch. Seriously. No problem. This request was so much fun that it barely felt like work. It was a good thing we made sure to be thorough. Sure was. But don't think your work is over just yet. Now comes the part where you each have to write a personal introduction. Oh no. Despite their inexperience, Lloyd and the SSS did their best to put together a readable article. Eventually, after much trial and error, the team's contribution to the gourmet guide was completed. That should just about do it. We'll proofread this on our end later, but it should be good for now. The Gourmet Guide is finally coming together thanks to all of your hard work. That was tougher than I thought it would be. Does that mean we're off the book? Sure does. Thanks for the help, guys. It'll be a while before this all gets published, but keep an eye out for when it hits the stands. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Sure thing, Grace. See you later. I have finished. Okay. That's done. Hi. Well, if it ain't my bestest pals, the SSS, I heard you all had a long, busy night. Speaking of which, you got any leads on that bald kid? No, we don't. 
We paid Ignis a visit this morning, only to come away empty-handed. Rats. That's okay. We've got some leads of our own to try. Oh, and Wazy, don't beat yourself up too much over this, all right? I appreciate the concern. Man, though, that blue brass really sets off some alarm bells. If there's somebody out there other than Joaquin who can produce that drug, we're all in for a bumpy ride. It's a good thing that the railment got sorted out before things turned a bit too chaotic. I wish we knew where that kid could have gotten the drug, though. You and me both. Okay, we are done, I would say. Oh, who is that? Just a random person. Yeah, I would say we're done with the Harbor District. Um, let's go ahead and do the Downtown District. Is, um... Hello there, Mr. Gable. I've baked some cookies. You're welcome to have a few if you'd like. They're super duper good. Mommy makes them all by herself. I forgot to be checking in on Gable this whole time. Uh, oh, you really didn't have to go to all this trouble. I don't want it to seem like I gave you something just to get something back. Oh, please, don't you worry about it one bit. All I'm doing is sharing our leftovers, the same as you. Very well, then. These are delicious. I told you. I'm glad you enjoy them. I missed out on an interesting moment, I think, between them. Sad. Oh well. Oh! You don't have anything I can steal, do you? Sure don't. What about in here? Nope! Alright. 